So far we've only driven the V8, although we suspect that in the UK the Turbo 4 will be the more popular choice not least because it'll be a fair bit more efficient, saying that, the price difference isn't great and the V8 does offer 435 bhp, 400 pounds foot, 0 to 60 in 4.4 secs and genuine Mustang kudos. The Mustang feels larger on the road and as a result less wieldy than it does in the States. But don't go thinking it's a talentless heffalump. The new rear suspension has transformed the car's stability and ride control, and although we'd stop short of saying the Mustang has the long range ease of a Bentley, it sucks up distance effortlessly, plus steers pleasingly accurately and is easily rapid enough. It may be big on the outside, but the Mustang isn't a exactly packaging master class within. The boot's suitably commodious but fitting normal-sized adult humans into the back seat isn't an easy undertaking. Especially not if you tick the box for the optional Recaro seats. You really should, though, they are absolutely magnificent bucket chairs.